Hi guys, welcome to the Colour Cave. My name's Gem and I like to play with art stuff. I had recently ordered two colouring books for my own enjoyment and I wanted to share them with you today uh, simply because I think that the artist is perhaps not as widely known as I would like him to be but also because there has been quite a bit of interest. I had recently coloured one of his pictures and people were asking me where did this come from, who, you know, what book's this from, where did this picture appear from. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an insight today. The artist that I am talking about is Bennett Klein and I have two of his books here. I have Colour My Sketchbook number five and I also have Colour My Sketchbook Epic which I had ordered online a few days ago and they've arrived today. The thing about Bennett Klein is he is what I would say is an accidental colouring book illustrator. He started his career by uploading his pencil sketches to Facebook and everyone absolutely loved them and people started colouring them in and at that point him and his wife May, who sometimes collaborates with him in his colouring books, decided to start bringing them out. The reason that I like his books so much is that his artwork is fantastic and as someone who likes to draw in pencil I can appreciate his talent so so much but I also love them because they're a little bit strange, a little bit quirky. His imagination is amazing and his ability to put all these strange things that are in his head onto paper in such a fashion that they're so pretty. I am in absolute awe. The other wonderful thing about his colouring books is that you can buy them in book form but you can also uh, download them as PDFs as well. The paper copies are on Create Space paper um, and a lot of people aren't a fan of the Create Space paper but if you do like his work the great news is that you can download them in a PDF and you can print them on any paper that you want. In addition to his colouring books, he has a Facebook group which is absolutely amazing. He takes time to comment and like posts and he gets involved in conversations. It's a really, really lovely community to be part of and I am delighted to flip through these books and show you, number one, how talented he is, but also to really sort of give him the praise that he deserves because I think his artwork is absolutely amazing. So I really hope that you enjoy this. I'm just going to grab these books and we can get going. So the first book I have here is Colour My Sketchbook 5. As the name suggests, there have been four previous ones. If you would like to see a flip through of any of the previous ones, drop me a note in the comments and I'll pick it up and it's something that I can certainly do for you. And you can see on the front here, um, this one has been collaborated with May Klein, which I do believe is Bennett's wife, I think. There are 25 images in most of his books. That's kind of like a standard procedure. Uh, he has this little note in the front here, just telling you about how he got started. And there is always a dedication to the community that brings this work to life. And I just think that is the loveliest thing. All of his pictures have names as well, which I really, really like. You know, everything has a title. It is a work of art that has a title. As I mentioned before, this is on Create Space paper, which is very, very toothy indeed. And you will get on better with harder pencils in these books. All the images are single sided. So if you want to use alcohol markers or anything like that, you can go to town with them. As I said before as well, you can print these off on PDF, which means you could use any sort of paper and any sort of medium that would let you use some watercolour or whatever as well. So yeah, as I said, his images are really quirky and they are a sort of type of grayscale. And I'm just going to flick through this. With this being one of his numbered Colour My Sketchbooks, there is no particular theme to the book. So it is just a collection of his drawings. And some of them are on black backgrounds like this, which I think make them look even more amazing as well. But you can see that they are... Oh, how cute is this little guy? <laughs> this is beautiful. I can tell you straight away, uh, May tends to do uh, mandalas and patterns, and she calls them May Dallas, which I think is amazing. This is her work. I don't know about the elephant in the middle, but the background definitely belongs to me. That It's very, very distinctive. So you've got a little bit of variety in the pictures as well. Oh, here we go. This is one of you. Yeah. I was talking about things that are a bit strange. Um, a lady in some sort of uh, old time garb with a fox for a head and some pretty impressive hair along with a chicken. 
The variety in his drawing is absolutely stunning. That one's actually on a grey background. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. Um, oh, look, this is just adorable. It's a guinea pig with a hairdo. But the variety in the books are amazing and I'm sure you can see how much work something like this would take to draw. But it is absolutely stunning. I have a sneaking suspicion that Mimi have had something to do with this one as well. <laughs> But these pictures are just amazing and stuff like this just absolutely blows me away. To be able to draw like that is just, it really is a talent. You know, people often say that you can be taught to draw because it's a skill, but there is a certain level that you get to and it's just raw talent and nothing else. It's another really good one. <laughs> Person with an animal said That theme seems to pop up quite a lot in his books. Um, Here's another one. There's some flowers in there as well, which is nice. And then you get really cute stuff like this. I really like this picture, but I don't know what I would do to colour it. To me, it's already coloured. Maybe I would do a background with this and not actually colour the picture, because to me, these look like statues and they would be a sort of grey, possibly beige colour. Um, but that might be a good one for practising backgrounds on. Another one of me's designs in the background there. Oh, wow. See, that. look at that. Look at the fur. Look how good the fur looks. I am envious. As a person who likes to draw, I am envious of the fur. <laughs> Some more animals with the mandala type backgrounds. Oh, look at this guy as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, I definitely, I want to colour him like now. <laughs> Another little bird as well with a nice background. There seems to be a nice variety in the, the, the amount of detail that's in the pictures as well. Some are very, very intricate and others are a little bit more... Some are really complicated and others are, you know, a lot more straightforward. And look at this little guy at the back as well. Oh, he's so cute. Look at the eyes. So there is something for everyone in terms of ability level in all of his books. And he always has this little thank you in the back. And it says, with over 30 years of professional design and illustration experience behind me, I can honestly say these books are the most creative fun I've had yet. I hope that you enjoyed it too. And it's signed at the bottom. So there we go, that is Colour My Sketchbook 5. The other one I have here is Epic. And it does follow the same format, they all follow the same format with the de dedication on the inside page and then the, the name of all of the, the drawings that are in the book. I like some of the names as well. He's got one here called Long Dead Dread, Sharparella. <laughs> They're pretty good. So without further ado, Look at this guy. It's just absolutely stunning. And look look how three-dimensional he looks. Look how much his moustache is sitting out from his face. I mean, to be able to draw that is just amazing. It really, really is. This animal with uh, flowers for antlers. Oh wow, look at her. That's amazing. Look at the background as well. All the clouds and everything. Absolutely superb. And some sort of really ugly statue. <laughs> but he's kind of cool. I oh, see ugly can be cool. And we have a warrior of descriptions here with her swords, which look as if they're growing out her hands. Maybe she's related to Wolverine. Uh, this is one of um, Bennett's more bizarre creations, I would say. Uh, again, weirdly, I kind of like it. <laughs> I like the fact that it's got a really nice background as well. That really appeals to me for some reason. It quite often leaves this white outline round about the, the, the main focal point of the drawing and it's just to help it stand out. It's something that, it's like a stylistic choice that I quite like as well. And look at that, that is amazing. That, that could be a black and white photograph. It really, really could. It's just something else. Now, this lady doesn't have an animal for a head. She's got a flower for a head. The, there is a Bennett Klein book called uh, Colour My Sketchbook Bloom, and there's a lot of this going on in that book. So if you like flowers, that's probably one to go for. This as well. Can you imagine colouring this with, like, really, really vibrant colours that make it stand out? It would look amazing against the background. The lady with her dragon. 
I love this as well. A cowboy boot that's got alligator head. Ah! Or crocodile skin. It's probably crocodile. My bad. But the level of detail in the boot as well, it's just amazing. And I am desperate to colour this in. It's going to take an age. But I, I am, this is the first picture I'm going to colour in this book for sure. Our wolfy friend. And again, that, that looks suspiciously like May's pattern that's inside here. And this woman with a beautiful gown and a horse with a real big mane. Absolutely love it. Love all of it. Love the quirky ones like this as well. A house with wings that's really a toadstool. I just, and little known guys, this is obviously their house. Some sort of warrior with her, looks like a, a like a big crossbow type effort. Clock. This little bee here, look how cute is he? There's so much definition and contrast between the things in his pictures. It's just absolutely amazing. This is quite cool as well, a rhino with the house on him. There we go, back to something a bit simpler here, but very, very pretty. Even if you just coloured in the flower and the butterflies, that would be absolutely stunning. It would be so nice. Look at this. I think this, this picture reminds me of like something out of a, like a religious book, you know, like some sort of um, natural disaster happening. And in some of the illustrated Bibles and other religious texts, the artwork in them is usually stunning. And this, I don't know why, but that's what that puts me in mind of. Really, really pretty. This looks like uh, Mrs. Claus, maybe? She's, I don't know, she, maybe. She's, she's got candy canes, but she's kind of got some steampunky stuff going on as well. That is that is a real mishmash. I don't know what she is. She kind of looks like she's got a Santa hat on, though. Take from that what you will. <laughs> kind of wolf warrior here. And again, at the back, the same thing. Always the same thing, you know. There are a couple of spare pages that you can test pencils out on as well, which is quite handy because, as I say, the Create Space paper isn't the, the most cooperative, shall we say. But I have never let it hold me back yet, especially not in these books because I love them so much. So there we go. That is two of Bennett Klein's books. I hope you have enjoyed having a look through them. I absolutely love them and I hope that he creates many, many more books in years to come. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We're still a tiny, tiny, tiny channel and we want to get bigger. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. I do put out two videos a week, once on a Monday and once on a Friday. And my videos are a mixture of drawing and art type stuff, colouring stuff and art supply reviews and testing that sort of idea so if that sounds up your street you go for it and we'll see you soon in the colour cave bye for now guys